Hi, I'm Jim Green. I'm the Director of Planetary Science at NASA. And we're here just outside the National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. to take the Planetary Science Walk. And I hope at the end of this, you'll get an appreciation for how far Pluto really is away from the Earth. Here we are at the Sun, the center of our solar system. Of course, life on Earth can't exist without the Sun. As you can see, the terrestrial planets are maybe 40 feet away from the Sun. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Of course, the Earth is the most studied planet of our solar system. Our satellites are performing all kinds of observations that give us weather, that give us the uh, information that we need on our daily lives to live here on Earth. It's our pale blue dot. Beyond Earth, Mars is the most studied planet of our solar system. We've had 42 missions to Mars. Only 16 of them actually have either flown by, orbited, or landed on Mars. Mars was really quite different than it is today in its past. We believe it had clouds, rivers, lakes, oceans, but climate change occurred, and it's now a much more arid planet. Okay, we're on our way to Jupiter, but we have to pass through an area where the asteroids live. They're actually a planet that was trying to come together, but Jupiter's gravity has kept them apart. Right now, we have a mission called Dawn that's now getting into orbit around Ceres, the largest asteroid in the asteroid belt. Here's where the asteroids would be in this particular area. And we're now heading to Jupiter. But Jupiter is five times further from the sun than the Earth is. Here we are at Jupiter, our largest planet. We've had several flybys of Jupiter, starting with the Pioneer 10 and 11, then Voyager 1 and 2. We've studied many of the moons, some of the fabulous moons of Jupiter like Ganymede, Callisto, Europa, and Io. Here we are at the beautiful ring planet Saturn. Saturn's been studied now for many years. We've had flybys by the Voyagers, but now we have Cassini. Cassini's in orbit, has been in orbit for about 10 years now, and is making fabulous observations of the planet, its rings, and its many moons. It's much bigger than the next two planets, Uranus and Neptune, but that's an even bigger hike. Well, here we are now at the other end of a very long block, and we're only at the planet Uranus. Uranus has been visited by the Voyagers. It's what we call an ice giant. It's made up of a lot of ices like ammonia, but Uranus is much like Neptune, and Neptune is an even greater hike down this next block. Wow, what a walk. Neptune's been visited by only one spacecraft, Voyager 2. And it found an array of new moons, fabulous magnetic field. One of the moons, Triton, orbits the planet in the opposite direction that our moon orbits the Earth. It's called retrograde. We believe Triton may be a Pluto-like object. We'll only find out when we get to Pluto. And that's our last stop. It's almost another half a block from Neptune. It's so far away. Now, even though this took us tens of minutes to actually make this walk, the New Horizons spacecraft was launched over nine years ago, and it's getting now very close to Pluto. Finally, here we are at Pluto. This flyby is gonna be absolutely spectacular. We're gonna be able to see this body as we've never seen it before, really up close and personal. You know, Pluto is an object of wonder ever since it was discovered in 1930. We now know that Pluto has five moons. As we get closer to it, we may even find more moons. It may even have rings. We know that Pluto has an atmosphere, but Pluto is really one of hundreds, perhaps thousands of objects we call Kuiper Belt objects. What we'll learn from Pluto will tell us about that initial event that brought the solar system together. It's the last major body in our solar system that we really need to visit. 
It's the end of a basic reconnaissance of our solar system. You know, I'd like to think in the future that we'll find so many fascinating things out about Pluto, we'll want to go back. So today we're only a few months away from the encounter. We're less than an astronomical unit, the distance between the Earth and the Sun, that distance away from this fascinating object. Please come online and follow the excitement as we get closer and closer to Pluto. We'll unveil it, we'll see what it's like, Pluto, we're on our way.